my mom was addicted to drugs when I was younger, so I was in the court systems and things of that nature. When I became a teenager, I was very um, negative, had a, a, a really bad attitude and really negative light, outlook on life. Got into prostitution, selling drugs and all kind of things when I was like in my younger 20s, 18, younger 20s. Got pregnant with my son and that changed everything. Got back into school and started following my dreams, which is singing and really making a name for myself in a positive light here in San Diego. Being a single mom, living in low-income apartments and you know, that right there it was, a, you know, a, alone was enough for me raising a, a 10 year old kid, you know, a boy, <laughs> a man child. Um, so <laughs> that right there also was like my motivation to just strive for better and um, equality or equity for everyone. Brown, black people know your black fist crowd out loud. Let me hear you say now. Shots fired on the black man down. Black man down. Second day of work actually at City College. And, my cousin called me, um, he was there when it happened, and he was like, there's this black guy who just got killed in El Cone City. I went straight from City College to El Cone City, like it was my brother, and it was just, yeah. I just knew it was something that I needed to be a part of. Me and a lot of my friends, we've been out there, you know what I'm saying, on the front line, making sure that they know that we're not giving up. You know what I'm saying? You can't just keep killing our people and thinking that it's okay. Like, it's not all right. It's not all right. I just started organizing and using my voice and the tools that I've learned previously to put into action there. Um, but honestly, nothing could prepare me for that moment. <laughs> it was something surreal, yet something so life-changing and um, needed. But I just used my voice. Um, primarily, that's my strength and that's my gift. Some people Whether it's in my community or another community, I definitely want to be a help. Um, definitely want to be a, a service to um, to the people, to the underdogs. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continuously use my gift and use my big mouth <laughs> to get things heard. Y'all go.